So, this Monday, this past Monday, Martin Luther King's birthday, um, 2019, this happened. So, ah, the lighting. So, for those of you who don't know, this is an arsenal. This is a SAM 7 underfolder, SAM 7 UF 85. Um, so, of course, I'm going to tell you all that it came with, um, and this is typically what SAM 7s normally come with. This and uh, an oil canister, um, a sling, um, a P mag. Um, the P bag fits very tightly. Um, I have a couple of tap codes that came with my other, and I know you know the mantra is tap codes are bad. Um, well, tap codes will fit in my my shitty ass ratty ass AK63. Uh, they won't fit in this one. So uh, you know people say that. Uh, tap codes are shit but there's so many I guess variables across the the, the, the AK pattern rifles that uh, do you expect uh, every AK pattern rifle to take tap codes or P mags or whatever um, do I need to ensure that my AK is tactical by buying metal mags um, no I mean I'm not depending on these rifles I have an AR-15 that I'm more comfortable with I'm just now getting into the uh, AK-47 uh, uh, platform uh, I will learn more I will I mean uh, this is something that I'm gonna probably keep forever the other one, I can keep forever and beat on. Uh, I don't want to beat on this one. I already have a beater. Um, and it takes Tapco. And it takes the P-Mag. And it'll probably take anything that's thrown at it. Um, so, so I'm not going to blame Tapco for not slipping into every single AK pattern rifle. I'm going to blame the rifle. That's what we do with handguns. That's what we'll do with this. But anyways, um, first thing I'm going to do is I am going to wrap this with paracord. I'm going to, uh, I guess, somewhere to buy some paracord this evening after work. Um, I have not shot this yet. I bought this locally for a thousand dollars. It was on consignment. I saw it when looking for washers. Um, I found one beat up ready ass washer, but I already have a ready ass gun. Um, and then I saw this and I saw a couple of other uh, uh, Century Arms uh, guns. Um, this one grabbed my attention. I actually touched it, held it. Um, they wouldn't allow me to break it down, but uh, I was able to tell that this gun, uh, so someone, it's pre-owned, but it's never been fired. It has no wear on the inside. It has no wear on the outside. Um, it has never been fired. So I might as well have bought this gun new and I spent two to three hundred dollars less than I would have if I would have went straight to K-Bar or, or, or Arsenal itself, right? So uh, anyways, uh, we'll cover more on this later, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys what is, you know, what's, what's, what's recently happened uh, in my, uh, my, my, my lifestyle, right? All right, bye-bye.